The Naples Pier is one of the most popular destinations in Naples, Florida. First built in 1889, the Naples Pier served as a docking site for boats bringing goods to the small Florida fishing town. The Naples Pier has endured fires and hurricanes over the last century. Now it has received a makeover. The project to remake the pier began in July. Manhattan Construction took on the project with great pride. K.P. Pazeshkin, Vice President of Manhattan Construction, is a 35-year resident of Naples and was just nine years old when his father took him to the pier to fish. And now he takes his sons there three to four days a week to do what his father and grandfather did some 35 years ago. When, actually, when the pier project first came up, we weren't sure if we were going to chase it or not. And it wasn't because of the size, it was just, you know, projects like that don't come up every day or every year, so it was kind of a unique project. And a few of us sat down and we kind of talked about it. And I said, um, I really want this project. This is my home, the pier is the icon of Naples, and for lack of a better word, how cool would it be to be able to build the pier? Every single person that comes to this community, whether they're a tourist or they move here, has been to that pier multiple times. It's probably the most photographed uh, object in, in Naples. And I just had to have it. The new deck of the pier was assembled in 30-foot sections in Fort Myers. Once complete, those pieces were placed on a barge and set sail for Naples. We had a very limited time in preparing um, our proposal, but at the same time, the schedule for this project was, you know, about like this as opposed to, you know, having a uh, time and, and, and time to finesse the project all the way through, we were put on a pretty stringent schedule. So what we thought was, all right, how can we build this faster than traditional means? So we came up with the idea on paper of building the pier in sections. Originally it was 15 foot sections that we thought because each concrete pile from pile to pile was about 15 feet apart on center. And then later on, as we kept discussing, it became, we're gonna cover two spans, so it was 30 feet. And what that allowed us to do is literally build this project uh, very, very fast and, and allowed us to do the demolition um, you know, from a barge as opposed to dragging all of the debris down the pier and loading it onto a truck and then driving it through the city of Naples. Instead, we cut the sections of the pier and lifted those off, placed them on the barge and brought in the new. And that in itself was an ingenious idea that uh, really saved a lot of time. So the difference between the, uh, the, the future pier and, and the current pier is uh, going to be mainly the, the material as far as the pier structure itself. We're going to be removing all of the wood, including the stringers that's underneath the deck, all the railing, everything's coming off. So the next difference would be the decking. The decking is going to be a material called IPE, I -P -E, uh, also known as Brazilian walnut, ironwood, and it has many other names. It's a very, very dense material, and it lasts much, much longer than, than the standard woods would for this type of construction. We're also adding a family restroom, which is going to be a separate entrance. Uh, the structures are all going to be re-roofed. Um, all of the structures, the bathrooms, the concession stands, everything else uh, is going to be re-roofed. And uh, the concession stand will also be getting uh, a new exterior skin of the building uh, due to what time has done. and. and basically taking its toll on the buildings with uh, the moisture and such that it's, it's time to get changed. The locals, or pier people as they call themselves, consider the pier a longtime friend and a place where people from all over the world come together. The work left the pier regulars to enjoy the gulf from the shore, and many of them relocated to the Naples dock just for the duration of construction. I moved here about three years ago from Atlanta and I love fishing, retired, and fish at the pier every day when it was open. 
and now that it's closed, we, we fish along the pier and under the pier. We still catch a lot of fish. We do a lot of tangling with the dolphins because they try to take the fish off our line. We have a coffee club that comes out on the pier. They all had to relocate to the docks while the pier is being closed and, and we have coffee and donuts and talk about politics and fishing. I've been a, a resident of Naples for almost 11 years, maybe 12. Uh, my father was a pier resident for 30 years. Unfortunately, he passed and I took his place as a uh, morning resident, enjoying a sunrise every morning. It's become a habit. It gives me a reason to get up in the morning. I'm uh, known as the coffee man. I bring out a 12-pot container of coffee in the morning and uh, we talk about the day's events. We can't wait for it to open. And they're doing a remarkable job. It's uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a, a diamond in the in the area for Naples. It's really a beautiful pier. It's great fishing. It's a great camaraderie. People come out there. You know, you hold a fishing pole, but you're more or less there just to have coffee and talk to the people, and you just meet all sorts of people out there. It's very interesting. This fifth renovation of the Naples Pier will ensure it will serve Naples and its visitors for generations to come.